Hey everyone, it is Friday morning. I am listening to the new Taylor Swift album and I have two day off in honor of Veterans Day. So before this vlog even gets, <laughs> look at my hair. It looks so weird. I just got out of the shower. Um, but so before this vlog even gets started, I wanna thank every veteran for their service, for giving us the freedom that we have here in the USA. And we are so incredibly indebted to you and so incredibly grateful for you giving us the life that we have. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, like I said, it is Friday and we have had our first snow. I have to also get all the patio furniture in. But we had our first snow of the season, which makes me so excited because it feels like Christmas. But um, I'm listening to the new Taylor Swift album that just came out. Um, don't know what I think yet. There are a couple songs that I really love. But um, yeah, I was in Philly yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been traveling like crazy for work. So I was in Philly Wednesday, Thursday. Got back late, late last night. And today I'm just chilling out. Um, but let me show you. The fireplace has been retiled. And it's like this beautiful marble mosaic with like some iridescent -y, like shiny tiles in it. I love it. And then these are the stockings. I told you some of them were back ordered from West Elm, but these are the three stockings. I just unwrapped them last night. Um, I need to press them. And I am gonna fill them with like a, some greens and pine um, just to make them look a little fuller for the time being. But yeah, I really like them. And then over here on the tree, which thank you for all the compliments because everyone seems to really love the neutral theme, but the reindeer came from Pottery Barn. These are Mongolian fur reindeer and I added them to the tree and they're so silly looking and I love them. I also have one more exciting thing to share that recently happened. So I came home yesterday um, from Philly. I was tired and I was cranky and Steven surprised me with the Diptyque Advent Calendar. I haven't opened it, so I don't know what the inside design is like this year. Let's go ahead. <sighs> ah. So this is the Diptyque Calendar this year. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited. This will definitely be in my holiday gift guide, but you have to buy it almost now because they sell it so quickly. I did it last year. I actually think I still have my box from last year. But I'm getting so set for Vlogmas because look at all these other advent calendars I have. So I have the David's tea. I also bought these accessories. So these are tea filters. This is also like a little infuser. And then this measuring spoon. But I bought the David's tea advent calendar it is so well made it's really beautiful it has like magnets so it closes really nice so i have that advent calendar i bought the a lush 12 days of christmas advent calendar i got the artillier cologne calendar from sephora and i also got the rituals advent calendar so for Vlogmas, we are going to be advent calendaring it up. I also have the Molten Brown one ordered from Barney's, but Barney's has not yet shipped them. They are shipping on the 13th of November. So we will have one, two, three, four, five, six advent calendars to open over Vlogmas. And I'm doing all of Vlogmas this year, not just 12 days of Vlogmas like last year. So every day I'll be vlogging. They will be very boring some days because it'll be just work. But um, I'm super excited. I have already planned all my music out for them, some of the content that I'm going to add into them, and also all the, oh, the lighting was really bad there, I didn't even catch that, and also all the intro videos um, for Vlogmas, so I'm really, really excited about it. So what's going on today? I am catching up with um, some laundry because I was traveling, and uh, my friend is driving in, she lives about an hour away, and we're gonna do lunch and wine and some shopping today, and then before we could do that, Steven told me that I had some packages delivered. So let's go ahead and unbox those and see what they are. Oh, 
I am so, I'm like talking between the boxes. I'm super excited about this. Wait for it, gang. It is this sweatshirt with this Christmas tree on it in like colorful sequins. And it's like a burgundy, hold on, let me turn down the music. And it is like in this really pretty burgundy fabric. I'm gonna see if I can get the sequins to show up. Look at that. But this is gonna be my sweater I wear over the holidays for something. I'm really excited about it. I got it like really oversized, so I can enjoy it and be super comfortable. I've been wanting one of these and it is uh, an espresso coffee percolator. Um, this is supposed to be one of the best brands. It's Bialetti. I'll leave everything linked down below. And then I also got uh, my favorite coffee, which is Cafe Bastello. So I got a big canister of Cafe Bastello for the percolator. Like I said, I will leave everything linked down below. Next are things from Target. As you know from my last vlog, I had recently um, looked at the Hand in Hearth uh, Joanna Gaines collection. There were a bunch of things I ended up wishing I would have bought. So I hopped online and went ahead and bought them. One of those things is this pillow. It has like the little like black and white cross check. Um, really cute. I also bought a bunch of RX bars um, only because they are so much cheaper at Target. So I bought several boxes of these because this is like a go-to meal for me on most days. I love the RX bars. It's probably one of my favorite things to have after a workout. So I have the RX bars. And this box I got the white and checked ornaments from the Hand and Hearth collection and also I got a few just a handful of these really cute mailboxes for the tree I just thought like the little pop of green would be really cute and then Lastly, la the last thing I picked up is this metal tray. Um, it actually matches the tree color I picked out, and that's one of the reasons I got it. But I'm not thrilled with the tray that's currently on the coffee table, so I'm going to switch it out to this. I don't love the fact that the book dome is round and also this tray is round so I'm going to actually do some switching out and let's see how this goes. I like that so much better. I love that this one's rectangular and then that is round. Um, gang, this is just a simple globe. It's a little dusty right now. Um, this is just a globe I found at Goodwill. Spray painted it with black chalkboard paint and then wrote Peace on Earth in a chalk marker. Super easy decor that looks super cute. Um, yeah, I like that much, much better. Let me go ahead and cut that tag. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, not a kitty cat. Oh, not a kitty cat. Bubba's, oh, look so handsome. Bubby just got back from getting a haircut. Bubby, you look so handsome. Oh, look at his hair. <laughs> look at that tail that looks like a pipe cleaner. Bubby, you look so handsome. Oh, look so handsome. Do you still smell like a skunk, though? Do you still smell like a skunk? Hey, you look so handsome. You look so handsome. Hello! Hello, you handsome gentleman. 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 Hello, you handsome gentleman.
devil. Hello! Hello! Ah. Hello, um, I just got back from, well actually, uh, well, I did just get back. It is like 4.06. Around 1 o'clock I went and met up with my friend for some wine, some lettuce wrapped at P.F. Chang's, and then uh, we did a little shopping. And I'm going to show you really quick in a haul what I got at Williams-Sonoma because it is that time of year. If you watched my vlog this last year, they have the best hot chocolate. So I picked up their hot chocolate at Williams-Sonoma. I also have their hot chocolate maker, and it is really incredible. And then for a special treat this weekend, I also got this little marshmallow that is a C. So I got that at Williams Sonoma. Um, at Bath and Body Works, they have their candles on sale for $12.50. I'm really impressed with them this year. They did like these marble uh, lids. And this is the evergreen candle. It smells amazing. So I picked up two of those just because they are so reasonable right now. I went to Sephora and got, because I just finished it up, but I got the Out of Trouble 10 Minute Problem Solving Mask from Origins. This is one of my favorite masks. I'd seen it a long time ago with, um, on Christina Brawley's channel, and I have loved it ever since, and I just used it up, so I picked up another one of those. And then I actually pick this up every single year. Um, Dr. Jart does like a series of masks for the holidays. So I picked this up. Um, it's always like $60 worth of masks for $30, $35. This year he did like a tarot um, card theme. But when you open it, it'll be like a series of different masks. So you get a really good deal on this. Last year they were in like a book. I like that a lot more. Um, this year they did it a little differently, but I liked it in the book last year a little bit more. This year it just comes in this box. So yeah, I liked last year's version, but it's still seven really high quality masks for a really great price, so you cannot beat it. Then I went to a favorite store, which is Free People, and I picked up a new black scarf. This is like the softest scarf I've ever felt, but I love a black scarf with my camel coat. So I picked up a new black scarf and then stopped at Aveda and I just ran out of rosemary mint shampoo. Then I went to Lush and I picked up a bunch of different bath bombs. I hate that I don't know all the names, but this one's called Thunder Snow. It has like a very citrusy smell. They say it turns your bath water pitch black. So I bought two of the Thunder Snows. Let me see if my receipt will have the names. The, yes, it does. And then I got my all-time favorite Avo Bath. Oh. And then I picked up, this is Monster's Ball. And I got she recommended this to me. It is a bubble bar and it's called The Magic of Christmas. It's on like a cinnamon stick, it has like a little bell, but it smells like clove and like spiciness. I really love it. Then I picked up, let me see, Secret Arts Jelly Bomb. This is the only jelly bomb that I actually liked. It's very like clean and citrus. I don't like flowery. Scents. So I picked up two of those, I think. This is another Avo bath. And then lastly, I picked up Christmas sweater. And this might be my favorite. I'm gonna probably go back and get more of these, but it's like spicy and yeah, it just smells like allspice and like everything great about the holidays. So that is what I picked up today at the mall. It was a really successful venture. Um, Tonight, I think Steven and I are going to go out to dinner and then probably just chill out. So Steven and I are supposed to go um, for dinner. Um, we have dinner reservations for seven. It is six o'clock and I'm in my pajamas. These are new pajamas, by the way. They are um, 
It's a onesie. I don't know if you know this, but Burt's Bees makes pajamas. They are completely organic. Their pajamas for the Christmas season are so cute. This is um, one set of them. Um, they are just the cutest. They are the softest pajamas on the planet. But um, yeah, if you are not familiar, Burt's Bees sells them. They have them on their website. That's where I ordered mine from. And then Target also carries them as well, but you should definitely check them out. They're really, really nice and like super, super high quality. But um, yeah, so we're supposed to go to dinner. I don't know what we'll end up doing. We have decided to go ahead and go to dinner. So uh, we're just getting ready. Steven's upstairs getting ready. My hair is a little bit of a mess. I don't even care. Just wearing um, this camel sweater, white t-shirt, black pants, and my black quilted shoes. And then I have my camel coat and then my new scarf from Free People. Bubba's just, <gasps> hi Bubby. Sweater. Bubby, come here. Because you got a Bubba's haircut, sweater. you need a new sweater. And it has a squirrely on it. It's a squirrel. Sworn enemy. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are getting ready to go, and then I'm gonna maybe go to Target after dinner, so we'll see. I could barely stay awake for dinner, so that will be the first thing to conquer. But, um, yeah, we're gonna get going. This is because the instructors I find sort of in your face. So I just do like the scenic. Um. So we are back from dinner, and I have the um, Out of Trouble Origins mask on, which has zinc in it, um, which is really good for my skin. But uh, we had a good dinner. I had Brussels sprouts and a really good burger. And Stephen had, what did you have? I had uh, moonfish. You had moonfish. Um, because I won't cook fish, so he usually, or eat fish. Or eat fish. And he got fish while, um, we were out, and Bubba's, Bubba's is right here. Bubby, what'd you have for dinner? Bubby, what'd you have for dinner? I don't think it's worth, oh, there it is. Oh my, I will sign off on the vlog here, and then I will see you guys in the morning. Um, all right, bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. Um, we are just having some coffee. Um, and Bubba's is over here, looking very handsome with his new haircut. Um, they have the best stuff on the planet. Um, it's called the Pittsford Dairy Farm, and I go here often. Um, so what I picked up is some ice cream for Steven, because he's a big ice cream guy. So that will be his little treat tonight. And then I also got tomato and cheddar soup. That is unbelievable. So I got that for lunch today. Got a loaf of sourdough bread, because their bakery is phenomenal. I got some quiches that are like little individual quiches for tomorrow. Um, so we have breakfast for tomorrow. And then lastly, I went ahead and picked up some, oh, what did I pick up? Quiche, tomato soup, ice cream, sourdough bread. Yeah, that's it. And then I also, their coffee there is really good. So even though I had a cup this morning, I got a salted caramel latte with non-fat milk. Clearly all the milk is from their dairy. Everything that they sell and produce there is like local. Um, it's just incredible. It's just a great, great place. And now we are heading home.
just finished stuffing my stockings, but look how much nicer they hang. So what I added were these little fur pom-poms, just some evergreen sprigs, and then a cinnamon stick into each stocking, and it just looks so good. I'm really pleased with it. All right, so now I need to clean up this mess. I have these extra cinnamon sticks. I'm just gonna add them to my tray. There we go, perfect. All right, gang, so it is going to be a low key evening the rest of the night. I'm going to make some homemade pizzas for Steven and I, and we are just going to chill out. And I think this vlog is long enough with enough stuff in it. So I will leave it like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, my friend.